All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back to check out another Discord music bot. We're taking a look at Chamber, and Chamber has a couple of neat features. The first one is you can invite up to four different versions of it to your server. So there's like Chamber 1, which you invite via the big red invite button, and there's 2. And then to activate 3 and 4, you gotta pay for premium. That's what the little diamond means. And then it's got unlimited queue size, autoplay, you can set up profiles for your chamber stats and history. It's got 24-7 lo-fi support, free volume control, it plays music off of Spotify, easy to use UI, and multiple chambers. So we're going to check that out today. If you want to invite it yourself, just click on the big red invite button. It's just got a standard Discord invite process for inviting bots to your server. And then over here is a big list of all of the different commands that you can do. But primarily what we're going to do is I'm going to hop into the music channel here. Turn my volume down a little bit so I don't blow up my eardrums. And then I've also grabbed a Spotify song over here. Let's just grab a link to this song. We'll pop back over here and then we can just type slash play. Make sure you're in the channel too. And you'll know the bot is recognizing that it's got slash commands because when you type in slash, it'll show up a list of all of the different commands that you have available to you when using this bot. Although I'm primarily after play, you can also search for music. Do note that you'll have to vote for the bot if you're not paying for premium on top.gg in order to enable that. But we're going to go with play and I'm going to put in the URL for the Spotify song. And then it, it pops in, it'll load up the music, and then it'll start playing, which is really nice. And then down here, underneath of the currently playing, we've got different controls, like we can pause the music, we can stop the music, which will actually let the bot leave the channel. We can fast forward, and we can also loop on repeat or shuffle the songs that we add. So let me just add a couple more songs to the queue, just so we can kind of showcase Checking the queue for different stuff. I'll just dump this in here, slash play, space this. And then we'll go down here and grab this one. Slash play. And then now we can just type in slash queue and we can see where we're at with the queue and what all is currently up next when we're listening to music. So here you can see the first song playing is this one, and then next up is this, and then at the end is RYVN. And if we wanted to, we could just type in slash skip in order to skip to the next song in the list, which is really easy to do. I do like that it's pretty snappy so far, although it does sometimes take it a second to load from Spotify. I've noticed other bots that play from Spotify also kind of do that, so maybe that's just a Spotify thing. Um, but it's got some nice controls, and it's pretty easy to use, and there are a few in this list that are DJ only. Like, let me see here, DJ... You can set DJ mode right here, and you can actually set it up so that you need to be a DJ in order to control the bot at all. And setting DJ roles is actually really easy. All you do is slash set DJ, and then it'll ask for what user. And then I'll just select me, and then it'll designate me as the DJ. Although I already had the DJ role, which is just DJ. Whoops, I don't want to set me, or set the, the bot as DJ. Then I'll set me back as the DJ. Does it have a specific role? Because I already have a role on the server that, sa that says DJ. But it looks like it just keeps an eye on like what user is added to the DJ list in order to make them have control over the bot. That's kind of different. I mean, I kind of like that. It gives you a fine-tuned control over who gets DJ powers and who doesn't. It is kind of annoying if you want to have a bunch of people be able to be a DJ and you just want to set a role as DJ. I kind of like it when bots are just like, 
assume that if you have a role that says DJ, literally just the letters D and J, that that's what lets you be the DJ. Okay, so DJ is pretty simple to set up and then you can just toggle DJ mode at pretty much any time and that's for free. You can also just disable it by typing it in again. Super easy to do. And then after that, there's a whole bunch of different controls. We'll just talk about them briefly. The help command is really easy when you get started. You can just type in slash help. It gives you kind of a brief idea of what all of the different categories of commands are. This is helpful if you are like not a native English speaker and you want to use slash language in order to change the default language. Let's do that now. Let's see what's available. Looks like it's available in English and Portuguese, which is kind of cool. There's a variety of different music bots that offer all kinds of different languages, which is, I definitely enjoy. We can check out profile. We can check our stats, but that requires us to vote. So if you're interested in tracking your music playing stats for your server, that is available. There's also a new releases option. And that'll just start playing something from the new releases section, I'm presuming. You can see history, you can clear the queue, search for music, remove duplicates, all of that good stuff. And you can also blacklist things. You can blacklist a song from Spotify so you don't hear it again. You can check your subscription status for buying premium, which I'm assuming is what's required to use some of the more advanced features like looping and lo-fi. And we can even do slash info. So for Chamber is developed by Gox using JavaScript using discord.js as the framework, which is pretty cool. You can also do slash stats, which I'm guessing is gonna give us stats about the ser this running on the server. So this is currently running on 79 servers with over 3000 users and 16 connections with currently 21 listeners. So that's all really nice. I mean, you get to see a lot of running information about this bot. It doesn't have a lot of the excessive frills and thrills that I've seen from other bots trying to like find a reason for people to pay for stuff. They kind of just have the core stuff that you'd want. So before we leave, let's take a look at if you actually wanted to purchase premium, what you would get. So for free, you get access to all the commands, but you have to vote for using them every 24 hours. If you pay $1.50 or like 150 euro a, a month, you get access to all the commands. You get two premium servers to have premium functions on. You don't have to vote and you get a, an exclusive role on their support server should you want to hop in there and ask questions. And if you do need help, I suggest actually going to Chambers Discord server and asking them because they'll probably know how to fix stuff a lot better than I would. Um, super supporter. You get five premium servers, all the commands, no vote requirements, and an even fancier role, I'm assuming, on their support server. It's actually relatively inexpensive compared to the other bots. I'm guessing it's just a little bit of money on top of whatever it costs uh, Gox to run the servers. So that's pretty cool. And if you need support, the support button will take you right to their support server so you can pop in and get all the help that you may need. There's also an FAQ section, so if you have any questions about how things work, uh, and how the prefixes change. There's not really prefixes anymore. They're kind of changing that on Discord. So it's all just slash commands. But you can get that information here. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a brief look at the music bot chamber. It's got a lot of full featured controls, like being able to control your queue with skip, repeat, loop, and all of that good stuff. I like the fact that the controls for this are literally just embedded right in the chat channel that you're using. So you don't have to kind of screw around with typing stuff in. You can just click the buttons, but you also have all of the typical music controls that you want in the text form, along with being able to set a DJ. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check the spot out for yourself with the links in the video description below, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.